It's March 14th, 2021. I don't take comfort or solace in telling you this. It's not the future that I had planned for, but I'm led here to tell you the honest to goodness truth. And before I go on for all the trolls and technocrats thinking that we can technologically solve our way out of this, unfortunately the feedback loops have been activated and we, there's no crawling out of this. But what this is, is telling you that the time to prepare for negatively based events is now. It is 1931 and I am telling you that a regime is forming and is about to plunge the world into chaos in the next decade. That is what I'm telling you. Only this time, the regime is global, is an order of magnitude at least 20 or 30 times worse, and is indefinite. I'm telling you to prepare for World War III. If it isn't massive food, loss, scarcity, and warring countries competing for resources. It is the threat of thermonuclear war outlined by the Atomic Bulletin of Scientists as in their latest report stating that we are 100 seconds to midnight. It is the collapse of nuclear facilities and radiation and fallout from that of which it is a toxified planet unable to provide for its inhabitants. We are now at least t over 250 times higher of overshoot for our planetary resources. All of this should and will occur at the very latest by 2035 when the Arctic melts completely. That is one of the main catalysts of events that will plunge the world into chaos. We literally need the Avengers right now. We need a life-saving force. Maybe aliens are visiting us lately because they know what's going to happen. They're not dumb. They know what we're setting ourselves up for. Again, all the technocrats and, and trolls who think that we'll always adapt. No, we don't adapt when you destroy the jet stream and all the breadbasket producing regions in the world. We have no way to grow anything other than basic fruits, strawberries, and lettuce in grow chambers. We cannot grow massive scale potatoes, legumes, um, carrots, a whole number of, of nutrient rich vegetables, and not to mention um, the amount of cows that are producing how much meat on this planet. We are overshot. It's plain as day to see. I mean, how can you not see the weather events that have been happening the past few years and think to yourself for just one fucking minute, hmm, now let me extrapolate for the future. How might this curve, what, if this continues, I mean, a doctors do this when they look at symptoms of a patient. Are your symptoms getting better or worse? Or are they staying the same? Because if they're getting worse, clearly we need to adjust your prescription or change our treatment method. Well, we're getting worse. And I don't want to go down the politics of, you know, how the, the, the capitalists, you know, the system, the dominant narrative. I don't want to talk. The point of this video is to just straight up tell you I'm like, I'm fucking Anne Frank, okay? I'm telling you from the basement that World War III is coming. It's going to be about 20 times worse. And it's going to be in the next 10 or 15 years. If it isn't the, the threats from China invading Taiwan, I mean, we can go down... Yeah, a whole laundry list of things that are that are going to piggyback off of each other. International relations, you know, the dominant force, the dominant power in the world. Either way, I'm telling you to set yourself up in a position that you'd be the least vulnerable to the impending cataclysmic changes to your lifestyle. And that by meaning no more food on the grocery store shelves, people fighting each other for food and resources, Set yourself up for a tribe. The time is to start doing that is now. So again, 
my warning is clear. We are headed into a world war type situation in the next 10 or 15 years. The evidence is conclusive. So heed my warning, get with your loved ones, and we'll talk about how that goes down. Okay? Spread this video. Thanks for watching.